Hey guys, this is Damien Verrett here with Digital Media Academy. Today I'm going to show you some quick tips to deal with less than ideal green screen footage. Let's come into After Effects right here. I have my footage. I'm going to drag it onto the Composition button to create a new composition that has the same sequence settings as my footage. I'm going to rename it Main Comp. I'm going to try to stay really, really organized when naming my compositions. I'm going to have four of them nested together by the end of this process. So right away you can see this is not an ideal green screen, it's basically gray. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is go into effect, color correction, hue saturation, and drag up the master saturation slider. So now our screen is looking green. Next thing we wanna do is pre-compose this layer. I'm gonna pre-compose after I add each effect so that I don't have my effects all stacking up. So let's pre-compose this, make sure we have the move all attributes into the new composition button checked. I'm gonna rename it one color correction. Now we're gonna create a garbage mat. Garbage mat is just like a little line that goes around our actor to give the keen software less green information to deal with so that it can do a cleaner job of eliminating the green screen. So here's a cool trick you can use to create an animated garbage mat that will move with your action. Click our footage, go effect, keen, linear color key. We're gonna change the key color from blue, the default to our green, and I'll grab sort of just like a middle green tone. It doesn't have to look good at all at this point. Let's go here, matte, simple choker, and we wanna increase the matching softness until it, we get a little more black, and then pull the choke matte down, 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 down to minus 100. Check and balance those two against each other until we get something we're happy with. It really doesn't have to be clean at all. Even that will do. So we have this green aura that kind of follows our actor and will give our keen software less green to look at. So let's pre-compose that and call it two pre-key. Now let's actually key it using effect, keen, key light. And then we'll grab the screen color with the eyedropper tool Bam, and already it's looking pretty good, but you can see it's kind of grainy in certain areas. So let's change the view mode from final result to screen matte. This is just showing us the alpha channel, which is the transparency channel of our footage. And it, now we're just dealing in black and white. So we want the background, our green screen, to be entirely blacked out, and we want our actor to be entirely whited out. So we don't want any of this kind of ghost-like tone, we want it to be all solid white. So the way we can do that is come into screen matte. So now we're going to be dealing with the clip black and clip white parameters. Clip black will push our black values up, eliminating the screen. So I'm going to get it right around 39 or 40, just to eliminate some of this haze. And then clip white will boost our white values until we get solid white and solid black. A little trick, you can take the aperture value right here and boost it to see if there are any areas that you've missed. So we can see right here, I missed these little white dots. So we're just gonna take the clip black value and bring that up a tad right around there. The edge is really rough, we can see it's all pixelated. So we're gonna go into screen softness and change that to maybe three. So now let's go back from screen mat to final result and return our aperture value to its default. And that's looking pretty good. If we wanna check the edge against something other than black background, I like to click this little grid button here, toggle transparency grid, and now we can really, really see the edge compared to that gridded background. And it's looking good. So I'm gonna pre-compose this layer and call it alpha. All we want from that layer is its alpha channel. We're gonna use it as a stencil over our original footage so that we can use our original color values. We don't wanna have this oversaturated image of our actor in our final product. So I'm gonna take our original footage and drag it underneath the alpha composition that we just created, change the blend mode of the alpha composition from normal to stencil alpha. So now it's just punching out a stencil of our footage. So now as we're playing along, you can see that that alpha layer follows along perfectly with our footage. So if right now we try to drop in our background layer, we can't see it because we have to pre-compose the alpha and footage layers together. I'll call that keyed. 
and our background now appears below it, and we're done. Awesome, well, I hope that was helpful and that you guys are now a little more comfortable using these keying effects. <laughs>